All right, once we have our data open and we have the SRTM downloader tool installed, it's just a matter of using it. So rather than try to remember the northernmost uh, latitude and southernmost latitude and east and west longitudes, I'm just going to download data that fit the window of my view here. That just seems easier to me. So I have zoomed out to a little bit more than what I think is the study area because I don't want to download not enough data, right? So I'm going to click here on the SRTM downloader tool and if, um, well so now that my canvas extent is set the way I want, if I click on that it will just fill in the appropriate values. I'm going to provide an output path name. I could leave this as a temporary file, but these tend to be large files, um, especially if you know my study site sits right on the border between two scenes. That would be, uh, then I'd have to download two, or if it sits right where four meet, right? So that could get kind of big. So I'm going to provide a place for it to save these data to. And I'm saving them here um, in a folder I'm calling temp. And then I just click download. Um, it will automatically load these values into QGIS. Um, you have to have a login and a password to get into the Earth Data NASA website. Uh, if you don't have one, click here and it will take you to the process of setting that up. There's no cost or anything. They just want to know mostly uh, what you're using the data for. So once you have that and you type it in, you should be able to hit OK. And it will download all of the data that you need. So I say OK, and then close. Now, this is big. This is much bigger than the area that I need, right? My study area is just this area down here. So I'm going to clip this data. And to make sure that the clip works, it needs to be in the right projection. So right now, I'm using the European Petroleum Survey Guild 32632. So that is WGS84 UTM 32 North. And my data that I just downloaded is in geographic WGS84, which is the EPSG 4326. So I need to reproject this raster data. So if I go up to raster, projections, and warp, this is the data that I want to project. And as I mentioned in the lab, I don't know why this isn't filled automatically. It's right there. But I'm going to select 3426, and I want my output to be 32632. I'm going to leave this at nearest neighbor. Um, again, I don't think this is going to be an issue, but <clears throat> I like establishing what my no data values are so that I know down the line what they may need to be. And I'm going to leave this as a temporary file because I'm going to clip it before I save it. So if I hit run, that should happen. And I now have reprojected saved up here. Now it didn't um, nothing changed because I had this set down here so it's automatically doing on-the-fly projections to make it into 32632 uh, so the scene didn't change right it looks exactly the same when I go back and forth between these two um, but now I know it's in the right format so then if I go to raster extraction clip raster by extent and now I'm going to put in my reprojected raster. I'm just going to use canvas extent again. I'm going to set this to negative 9,999 just in case. And I'm going to save my temporary file. I'm going to make it not a temporary file. And I'm going to save it as SRTM WGS84 UTM 32 North. You can call it whatever you want. I tend to have very boring names, but um, hit save and run. And uh, now if I zoom out, I still have all of that data. I'm going to clean off these that I know I'm not going to use anymore by right clicking on them and selecting remove layer. And here's my study site down there. And I can zoom to the study extent. And there we are. That's the data that I need um, to start processing the topography of this study site.